Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mike here. We are back today with another Minecraft Lord of the Rings tutorial. We are going to be talking about shaders again. Now I know I made a video in the past uh, on how to install shaders for the Minecraft Lord of the Rings mod using the actual shaders mod and it was quite cumbersome. You had to downgrade your Java to Java 7 and there were quite a lot of issues with it and people started complaining a lot. So there is a new way to do it and it involves using Optifine. There is a new version of Optifine out and in the past, you know, recent versions of Minecraft, Optifine has actually added native support for shaders. So for Minecraft 1.8 up, you can just use Optifine directly to install shaders into Minecraft. And now with the new version, they have backported it. So it is now also compatible with Minecraft 1.7.10. And it's actually a big deal for me because I do use Optifine on a regular basis with Minecraft and especially with the Minecraft Lord of the Rings mod. Now, quick caveat, Mevins and the mod team do not recommend using Optifine with the Lord of the Rings mod for various reasons. It can cause problems, especially if you don't know what you're doing. So if you have any issues when you're trying to use Optifine with the Lord of the Rings mod, the first thing you should do is remove Optifine and see if that fixes your issue. Please don't come to me in the comments and say, Mike, you screwed up my save or something. I'm warning you right now. If you're not at all sure what you're doing or if you have any issues, please just don't do it. You know, don't install it and don't blame me if you do. It works fine for me, but it might not work for everyone else out there. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is download Optifine. You're gonna go to basically optifine.net here slash downloads. You're gonna choose Minecraft 1.7.10 and you're gonna download this version, the newest version, D7. Um, we're gonna install that very quickly. I have already downloaded it. We're gonna go into our Minecraft launcher here. We're gonna go to launch options. We're gonna go to my testing install. We're gonna click on this little green arrow to open my install folder. I'm gonna go into mods. We are going to, boom, just move it over. Uh, a word of warning, if you are using FastCraft 1.23, your game is gonna crash. You need to have FastCraft 1.24. It's an experimental version and I wouldn't necessarily recommend using it right now. There's probably gonna be a new version coming out soon. You can give it a shot. I will put a download link in the description below and you can download FastCraft. It does seem to work for me sometimes, but again, it does cause crashing depending on where you are. It's very strange with Minecraft Lord of the Rings actually. You can give it a shot, your mileage may vary. So we've installed that. Let's just sort of minimize this for a second. We're gonna go back to our news. We are gonna play we're just going to load up Minecraft for a brief moment and that will allow Optifine to sort of set itself up and create some of the folders we're gonna to need to install the actual shader packs themselves. All right, so it is now loaded. Let's just quit out of here. I'm gonna open our launcher. Again, we're gonna go back into launch options, back into our profile here and we're gonna open up our folder. And we've noticed, or you will notice that a new folder has been created called shader packs. This is where you essentially install the actual shader packs themselves. Now I'm assuming you guys generally know what you're doing with Minecraft and shaders. I don't have to go into details. I have taken the opportunity to download a bunch of them and I'm gonna just full put them in there, right there, back into the folder. We're gonna move them over and let's get back here. Now, we basically are ready to go. I am going to load up Minecraft and I will see you inside. Okay, we have loaded up Minecraft. We have Optifine installed. We have our shader packs installed. But there are a couple of things I want to go over before we start. First off, into the mods, configuration settings here. We're going to go into Minecraft Lord of the Rings. We're going to hit config and we're going to scroll down until we see Middle Earth Sky. And we're going to double check that that is set to false. It defaults to true. If you are running shaders, you need to have it set to false. So make sure that's false. We're going to hit done. Go back here and let's very quickly just take a look at our options. Now, if you don't know much about Optifine, there are quite a lot of settings here and there's a ton of stuff that you may or may not get yourself into trouble with. <laughs> so let me go over what I do and then you can experiment on your own. First off, I set my advanced uh, OpenGL to fancy. I also set my chunk loading to multi-core. If you have a fast CPU, if you know what you're doing, you can give it a shot. It does cause problems with some video cards, especially in NVIDIA. There are fixes out there, one of which I use. I'm not gonna get into it, but you can give it a shot and see you know, how it works for you. If you find problems, if you find sort of that you have x-ray vision and you can see through the world, that's a problem, turn it off. All right, so we're gonna go into details as well. We're gonna make sure our clouds are set to off 
because again that causes a lot of problems with shader pack so we're going to turn it off and we're going to go to done we're going to go into performance here and just i'm going to set my chunk updates to three again it's not for everyone i have a fairly good computer and i set that to three normally so i'm going to leave it on i'm going to turn smooth world off and uh, i'm going to leave everything else as is let's go back into here all right i'm going to go into the shaders configuration here you'll notice our shaders are set to off and you'll notice that the shaders we installed into the folder are all here so let's just not do anything yet we're going to load our game first i have my shaders world set up just made myself a new world this should be in the shire there we go we're in the shire things are looking very normal no shader pack installed right now so we basically have the default minecraft look let's kind of let's just stand right here and we're gonna play with some shaders so back into options into video settings into shaders and we're gonna pick one of these let's sort of randomly let's pick this one mr meeps one of my favorite shaders actually it's not you know super contrasty or saturated but it's a very good take on minecraft vanilla minecraft in general so let's just go to done and we'll see what we got we have a problem houston we have a problem so you will see well it's nighttime i guess let's just change it to day here for a second very quickly all right so it's morning i just set the time to zero and you'll notice that well we got shaders things are looking beautiful very beautiful actually the sun is coming up we have god rays can you see right there sort of when you look at an angle that we have the original vanilla minecraft sun back it's causing a little bit of issue there with the minecraft lord of the rings mod let's go back into options into our video settings we're gonna go into details we're gonna turn the sun and the moon off you can see it's disappeared right there there we go we got ourselves a very nice looking possibly sun now let me sort of show you where optifine comes into its own here uh it allows for a lot more configuration than some of the other like the other shaders mod for example uh because it allows you to configure many many different things with the shader so let's go into our video settings back into shaders and check this out shader options here you'll see a ton of different settings and it really does depend on the shader pack itself let me give you some of my recommendations first i don't like the whole waving grass stuff waving vines waving potatoes the reason is especially with lord of the rings a lot of the custom grasses and custom plants don't work so it really ends up being immersion breaking because you have a lot of just weirdness so i'm going to turn all that stuff off the other good thing is that it increases your performance by turning them off so every little bit helps right what else we got let's leave all this stuff uh, in fact i'm going to turn motion blur on i actually like motion blur not everyone does uh, but it helps a lot if you have you can sort of see when you turn around things get all blurry which is exactly what motion blur is but it helps sort of smooth out your frame rate or at the very least disguise the fact that you have low frame rate when you're turning around very quickly i think it's a good effect i like it so i'm gonna leave it on i tend to leave it on with my shaders now things are looking pretty good here let's try another shader pack and just sort of see what we got all right let's hit done 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 wow that looks awesome looks amazing the sun is looking beautiful those god arrays are awesome i really like it now again you'll notice my trees are waving i want to turn that off let me show you uh what the settings are like for shoulders because there is a lot of configuration options here and this can really make a big difference a lot of the shader packs contain certain things like this so let's go through it sort of one by one bloom this basically adds the sort of glow you see around the sun and you know, things like that when you're looking at light sources it looks good leave it on doesn't have a lot of performance problems anyway fog again i would leave it on you can adjust all this stuff though that's the beauty of this parallax mapping let's leave it off that sort of adds depth uh, and i believe it requires a texture pack in order to use so we're going to forget about that shadows if you find your performance is low adjust your shadows this is the resolution basically this affects how pixelated the shadows look the higher you go the better they look i would leave it at 2048 or reduce it if you notice any issues the shadow view distance is pretty obvious how far you can view them for 90 is a good sort of balance uh you can go to 120 or higher if you want or you, again you can reduce it or you can turn shadows off completely if you find that they cause a lot of performance problems for you ambient occlusion i tend to leave that off um i record at 60 frames per second so 
Having all these options on, I really can't maintain 60 frames per second and I have a high-end computer. So if you're not doing recording, you're just playing for fun and you don't care about 30 frames per second or 60 or whatever you want to play at, then turn it on by all means, give it a shot. Cell shading gives it basically a cartoony kind of look. You can turn it on, I'll show you. Uh, yeah, that's what this is. <laughs> I don't like it at all. But for some people, maybe they think it's cool. Back to options, let's turn that off. I'm gonna turn the whole wavy objects off here completely. Again, you could leave lava and fire on if you want. Yeah, it does cause some performance issues definitely for the lava and fire, especially I find in places like Mordor. So yeah, that's another issue. Color boost, you can adjust this, which increases basically the color saturation. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, I guess you can't actually go lower. Let's leave it at 0.04. Sky options. You can turn off on, on a bunch of stuff here. Raindrops, you can turn clouds off. The Shader Moon, I would turn it off. That allows the moon to be actually drawn by the Lord of the Rings mod, which looks quite a bit better. Alternative weather, I'm gonna turn this off. What that does is it's kind of difficult to explain, um, but it adjusts where the sun is in the sky and it can cause problems with certain texture packs. I don't know if it causes problems with the Lord of the Rings mod itself, but I usually turn it off. Uh, again, you can turn raindrops, god rays can be off, lens flares, let's turn it on, why not? Volumetric lighting. Causes some bugs right now and is still quite performance hungry. All right, again, it might be a thing to do, but let's leave it off for now. And, and there are just basically a ton of different options that you can play with, all to sort of optimize the look of the game and your performance to something that you really like. Let's go back and see what we've got. Wow, that is bright. That is super bright. <laughs> we got some nice lens flare there. Gotta say, got some good performance. Some very good performance in general. Let's go take a look at the water real quick. I have to say, I really, really like the water in Silders. It's probably some of the best water I've ever seen in Minecraft. It is gorgeous. Man, that is amazing. Just gorgeous. All right, there are a couple of other options I'm gonna go over very quickly before we leave things off for today as the sun sets. We're gonna go back into our shader options and I want you to take a look along the right side here. What we can do is we can turn on FXAA to four times. This helps smooth the picture out. It sort of removes some of the pixelization, some of the jaggies, especially around the edges of objects. It does blur things a little bit, but in my opinion, it looks pretty good. So that is one thing I would suggest enabling. It doesn't cost you a lot of performance, so yeah, just do it if you can. Back in here, you can increase or decrease different quality, sort of the shadow quality can be increased or decreased. Um, your render quality can be increased or decreased. What this is basically doing is super sampling. So what it's doing is maybe if you increase your render quality to double, and your screen is at 1080p, it's gonna double the 1080p resolution and then downsample it to give you a better picture. It doesn't work with a lot of shader packs. It does just kill your performance. If you find that you have performance problems, I would suggest maybe lowering these. I wouldn't recommend really raising them unless you have a supercomputer. Otherwise, I would just leave them as is. I would set this to a four times FXAA and leave it alone. Night is falling fast in the Shire, but we got Optifine installed and we got the shader packs working, generally anyway. If you guys have any questions, you're welcome to ask me in the comment section below or come on Discord and join the chat. We can have some fun and maybe you can get some answers there. It is pretty buggy again, but you know, we're at the cutting edge here right now of Minecraft 1.7.10. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more. Take care and have yourselves a great day or a great evening as the case may be.